Hey, what's up everybody? Garrett here, coming at you. Uh, down at the build site tonight, uh, day 271. So, if you haven't noticed, I'm standing inside and it's dark outside with the time change. So, that means one thing, we got electricity. So, uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, we got uh, a big reveal for you guys tonight. Something that I've been waiting uh, 271 days for. So, really excited to show you. Uh, I got a couple cool surprises. So, Gonna show you as much as we can, and uh, the house is starting to look more and more like a home every day. So, uh, this week what we got done was uh, they got paint done. They got they started electrical, so it's not all done. You'll see, you still have some dark areas. That I'm gonna walk through, but uh, and then we got a big surprise area, and uh, and then on the agenda for this week, the uh, HVAC is coming up to finish, and carpets are scheduled for Friday. So after carpets are scheduled, we should be looking good. Hopefully for the closing date and uh, after that, um, oh, we talked to gas today too and uh, they said we're on the schedule for our final hookup in like uh, 10 to 14 days. So we should be moving in hopefully. So uh, anyway, let me flip you around here. I'm going to take you around and show you a couple lights here. Stand by. All right. So here's our uh, bedroom two and this is a light. So. We did not do uh, Schumacher fans. We got our own fans. But as you can see, we really like this fan. It's super sweet. Uh, it's black and uh, it's from Costco. And it's a Hunter fan, I think it was $100. So super nice fan. Uh, That's what we got really for all the, all the rooms upstairs. And uh, yeah, really, really happy with how they turned out. So let me... Uh, Take you over here. This is bedroom three. As you can see, same fan. Uh, get a shot of the paint color there. Looks awesome. The painters were here and uh, looks like they spilled some paint. And uh, my children were very excited, came running up to check out the rooms and uh, ran through the paint. and. Ran through the paint all through the house. So anyway, we got footprints. That's all right. Cause it's a construction site, right guys? But uh, anyway, so yeah, let me let me continue on here. Uh, as you can see again, we, we don't have all the lights up. So like for instance, in the uh, upstairs bathroom, it's too dark in there. So stand by, I'm gonna take you downstairs. Hey, so moving on downstairs real quick, just wanted to show you this too. Um, something to think about if you're in the build process, but this little board here, this is your skirt board. Okay. You see right here, it's your skirt board. Um, originally we chose to do that in white. Um, and then they called and said, Hey, do you guys want to stain it or stick to white? And, uh, we decided to do the stain and I'll tell you what, we really, really like it. Um, happy with it, but to each his own, but that's just what we chose to do. And then the uh, stairs are going to be carpet. So stand by here and we'll continue on. All right. So here we are downstairs, master bedroom. Uh, this fan here, this was not the same fan, not a Costco fan. Um, it might have been from Costco, actually. I don't know. But either way, it's like a Hunter Smart fan. Um, and we chose not to do these in every bedroom. It kind of goes with our smart theme down here. Um, but it was like $200 and we just didn't feel like the kids room needed them. But hey, if you got the money for that, go ahead. But uh, it's just what we did. Um, so anyway, yeah, I like it. Seems a little dim right now. We don't know where the remote control is um, to turn it up, but either way. Yeah, cool fan, huh? Uh, we got two lights going up here, two pendant lights. Big king bed's gonna be here, two pendant lights. So. That's a future surprise here in a video coming up. Master bedroom. <laughs> Check out the golden area in here. Fan. And there she is. Brand new porcelain. Um, hey, real quick on this. I know I've talked about this in another video. Just want to stress it again. Uh, I'm tall. I'm six foot four. If you don't like um, real low toilets, make sure in your planning meeting, you get these, uh, I forget they call them chair height toilets or, you know, they're, they're just higher toilets. So um, what, you, what your house is gonna come with is low toilets and well, I'd be upset if uh, I came in here and was sitting on the ground to go to the bathroom. So anyway, 
There's something to think about. More lights. I'm gonna show you the vanity lights. Super excited. These turned out awesome. These were supposed to be threes. Um, and when we we bought, we we really upgraded all of our lights. Um, not with not with Shoemaker. We bought them uh, from you know Lowe's, Home Depot, or Costco. Um, and kind of upgrade them ourselves. But anyway, love it. Wait till we get this thing lit up. It's gonna be lit up in here. Uh, gorgeous, so. Still waiting on cabinet doors, that's all right. We got some wire shelving in here. Here's a closet. We got two of these lights going up. These are cool. These are like a Hampton Bay uh, directional light. Uh, so we got one going up. Again, these guys aren't done. We got one going there. But uh, yeah, digging it. It's really gonna look good, so closet's looking sweet. Stand by here, and I'm gonna take you out and show you the kitchen. All right, here we are back out in the kitchen. So, love it, absolutely love it. Uh, they got the can lights in and on, and uh, we got these two big pendant lights. That was something we did. Um, we decided to go with two large pendants. We saw it in a model home, uh, and even when we got those things, you know, my wife was like, boy, these things are huge. Um, but I'll tell you what, they just turned out really, really nice in this space. Um, and they are big, but man, they look good. Shout out to the electrician again, Keith. We're going to give him a final shout out at the very end here uh, with his permission and uh, with his company name. But just absolutely fantastic. To think how he lined all these lights up, okay, made everything symmetrical, including these two can't, um, uh, whatever you call it, lights, pendant. pendant lights, when this thing was just studs is beyond me. I mean, really, really fantastic. So as you can see, they're perfect. Wouldn't change them at all. Really, really nice. Media room, boom, nice lights. Okay. I'll take you out here. Still missing that cabinet door. Supposedly it's on order. Here's a pantry. Uh, everything's painted. These are the lights we got for uh, the hallway lights, they're cool. Uh, there was like, they're all the same, they're all like the same set. Uh, we can get you more info if anybody likes them or whatever, but. Um, this came with like wire racks. We chose, we had them not put it in. We're gonna put our own uh, counters and cabinets in, in there. Um, basically it's gonna match this out here. Uh, we're kind of making like a, whatever you want to call it, a butler's pantry or um, just really just a big pantry. So another one. And then uh, here's the uh, laundry room. They also have wire racks for in the laundry room. We chose not to do them in here too because uh, we're getting uh, white cabinets for in here. So stand by here. I'll continue the tour. All right. So. Here we are. So, like I said, I got a big surprise tonight. I've been waiting 271 days for this. I'd imagine you guys have been too. That's how, at least how excited I am. This is uh, what we've been waiting for this whole time, really. So, let me flip you around here. Boom! Fireplace is in. Done. Almost. Almost done. Absolutely gorgeous. Breathtaking. This stone here is called Penn Valley Field Stone. We really had no change orders, believe it or not. We thought really hard in the beginning about how we wanted to design our house, what we wanted to do, what colors we wanted to put in, all this and that. Um, and then this was, the fireplace stone was actually our only change order. We follow someone else on Instagram um, and she had posted, they had actually installed the wrong stone on her fireplace and it was this, Penn Valley Field Stone. And she was like, I absolutely love it. And we started looking at her pictures and we're like, wow, we absolutely love it too. And so glad we changed. Um, just turned out really, really awesome. Just changes the whole look. So as you can see, the mantle's stained too. They got that done. This is stained dusk. Uh, get you a little side view. You can kind of see the, it's kind of see the texture. It's not flush. We're gonna have a contest to see who can climb to the top the fastest on the day we move in. So be prepared for that video. 
And uh, so I'm gonna take you out here. Just wanna show you the look, what we've been waiting for. So again, there's no lights out here. This our pendant light, uh, our chandelier light, whatever it's called, isn't in yet. But you can see what we were going for, right? Walk in the front door, see the fireplace through the catwalk. Uh, just absolutely amazing. Especially at Christmas time, how Christmas lights up and we're gonna get a mega tree. So have one more small little surprise for you. Stand by here and uh, we're gonna fish, finish this one off. All right, so here we are outside. Just wanted to show you this real quick. Um, they had the lights all on, looks really awesome. We chose to do the, uh, it's like this fascia down lighting. Um, and uh, I think there's eight of them total. And uh, it just turned out really awesome. Super excited about how the look is. And again, the rest of our lights aren't finished out up here waiting on brick, uh, the brick guys to finish. But I uh, wanted to show you this. So stand by here and uh, head back inside. All right, so that's it for tonight. Been waiting to stand in front of this fireplace and do a video for a long time. So we're finishing this one off. As always, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Peace Monsters. At what? Bruce Bill Halstead. Bruce Bill Halstead. Ready? You want to give it? Peace. Okay. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.